Hello everybody, welcome to Matt Makes Monsters. My name is Matt. Today is Dungeons & Dragons Goblin Day. So grab your looted sword, don your crappy armor, and paint your face green. It's time to cause some chaos. Goblin sound. Hey, here we go! So, as you can see, I'm having trouble deciding what his face should look like. Um, this is, by the way, one of the many reasons why I love digital art. Do you hate it? It's gone. Uh, no ghost lines, no eraser marks, just gone. Forever. Unless you want it back, and then it's back, which is amazing. Uh, but I was using the description from the second edition Monstrous Manual uh, for D&D. I decided it would be best not to be colored by previous versions of goblins, so I acted like I was going off that description alone. And the description is this. Goblins have flat faces, broad noses, pointed ears, wide mouths, and small sharp fangs. Their foreheads slope back and their eyes are usually dull and glazed. They will always walk upright, but their arms hang down almost to their knees. Their skin colors range from a yellow through any shade of orange to a deep red. Usually a single tribe has members all about the same color skin. Their eyes vary from bright red to gleaming lemon yellow. They wear clothing of dark leather tending towards dull, soiled looking colors. So that's, that's, that's kind of what I was going off of with a little added extra stuff. So I wanted his equipment to look not super great and, and stolen. <laughs> And, uh, and I guess looted would be the proper word. Um, so as usual, I make uh, his little sketchy bones back there, and then I'll start adding detail. Um, once again, I'm using Procreate on an iPad Pro 12.9 inch. I, I used to have a Cintiq that I used to use with Photoshop, but it, it died. So hopefully one day I will be able to replace that. But for now... Honestly, I'm kind of enjoying having the portability of the iPad. So, this guy is... Uh, this guy's a goblin. And goblins have been around since the Middle Ages in folklore. Uh, they have a lot in common with fairies and demons. Nobody kind of knows where the, the name comes from. They can't decide if it's French or German. But there is one thing that is for sure that I found out. This was new to me. That a female goblin is apparently called a goblet. <laughs> so, I mean, this, this guy's a, go a, a boy goblin. So, but uh, but yeah. So you may also notice that I am using way more zoomies, so you can see what's going on uh, to make the process more clear, or um, just just to make you more sick. So let me know what it's doing. Maybe it's doing both, uh, but it's it's moving in and out uh, a lot more often. Except right now when it's not moving at all, so that's great. It's great. Uh, I like using goblins in Dungeons & Dragons because uh, they are a dirt easy monster to put against a party of low-level noobs. And if you just want more of a challenge, just like add like 100,000 of them. Al although, that's kind of true for any monster, so... <laughs> so never mind. <laughs> Um, so, you'll notice that I occasionally hide the, the bones back there when I was doing that, and that's just so I can add some details without, uh, confusing it with the sketchiness underneath. So basically, most of my art is just tracing, but I'm tracing myself. So, you know, that's fine. When you're laying out the shadows before, before I start doing this light stuff, uh, it's important to remember where your light sources are coming from, because uh, at this point you're just drawing the shadows. For this guy, I wanted a strong light coming from the top left and a secondary light from the right. Now, both are pretty dramatic, which is honestly way more fun to paint. Uh, and when it comes time, you can make more dramatic shadows, and it's like painting this light all dramatically is just, it's just way more fun. And I'm adding kind of a background here, <laughs> sort of a background. So what's funny is because the light is so strong and dramatic and the colors are strange, you kind of lose his skin tone. But it, there is a yellowish 
uh, skin tone under there. And one thing I've noticed that I tend to do, which is something I'd like to avoid, but again, I'm kind of new to this whole coloring thing, uh, digital coloring thing. You gotta, I'll, I'll do the, the, the white in the uh, black and white version, get the values down. And then when I color it, I'll notice that the white is dulled. And rather than duplicating the white and putting it on top, I will actually go through and re, uh, brighten the the white uh, around just to make it pop a little more and it works it's really time consuming but it works because it actually adds a little more depth so you don't get a standard uh, white uniform hey look I'm extending the canvas haha -ha. I felt his head was too close to the top uh, and that's a digital only thing I have tried pulling a few extra inches out of a piece of paper and it does not work um so you know that's that's another great advantage to digital i mean i could have just shrunk him down but i had so many layers by this point i was like oh it's just easier to make the canvas a little bigger hey look my signature i thought i was done that's funny i um i sped up the polishing part here by the way uh because it's the most boring but it is very important to make it pop um so this is where I'm going with this guy. I'm trying to get the uh, light from the theoretical fire that's happening, from the fire he probably set uh, on the right, getting it uh, all down. So yeah, I think uh, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with how he turned out. There's some, there's some anatomy issues I'm not super wild about, but I, I like him. I think he looks uh, dangerous and dumb. Although, actually, I probably could have made him look dumber, but those be those are some seriously beady eyes. <laughs> so, there he is. Um, the goblins, by, by the way, been around since, like, the very first uh, uh, Dungeons & Dragons. Oh, here's the cartoony guy. The very first Dungeons & Dragons uh, thing when they were just called Small Monsters, but they've really been there since the start. They were, like, one of the first. So, with this cartoony guy, I wanted to... Uh, make him a little more animated, a little more interesting. I mean, he's just kind of standing there in the realistic version. I wanted to give him a little more of a dy dynamic pose here. Uh, make him a little more uh, true to life goblin. I actually had a character in D&D who was a goblin. Actually, she was a goblet. And her name was Chunk Sputter. And she was huge and mute and she would attempt to casually eat parts of her party members. <laughs> you know? Just because. Uh, and she was also the most eligible bachelorette in the whole party of goblins. Uh, she would attempt to... They would like... Att oh, look at that! I turned all of the sketchy bones so I could trace the shield properly once I decided his arm should be down. You can do that. Isn't that great? Isn't that fun? Um, so, yeah. Um, sometimes you just got to play a goblin game, though. I think everybody's got an inner goblin that needs to come out. I did some interesting stuff here with the um, the shadows, because I, and by interesting I mean kind of uh, there's a lot of redundancy because I I go through and I'm I'm trying to get it, um, but I, make, I put the shadows down several times. So I got this one layer here, and then I will attempt, and then I'll draw the light, which is again still fun even though it's like a little more solid, a little more. Um, Little vector. I could I could probably do this in vector based programs, but I'm not super comfortable doing that. I'm just I'm not I'm not a vector based guy. Uh, but I should learn. I should push myself to learn some vector graphics. But it always it's always just too clean for me. But then again, what is this? So I'm adding all of the highlights, and then I'll start to give. I made him a little more green here. Oh no, I, I switched it. That's weird. So then I got to color all this in by hand. And then I separate the shadows here with a line. Uh, and I'm not sure why I did that. Um, oh, I'm adding extra shadows, darker shadows. Yeah, that's right, I forgot to do this. I haven't looked at this since I did this. And as you can tell by the uh, signature in the previous version, I haven't done this, like I haven't looked at this in months. So, 
Uh, yeah, look, yeah. I thought it would look cool. I don't know. Sometimes you just gotta try stuff. Like, there are rules to drawing? Sure, sure, there are rules, sure. Let's go with that. I have a lot of people invested in the idea that there's a lot of rules in drawing, and there are. But I, I think you can just go ahead and, and play and try out stuff and see if they, see if it works. Because, you know, that's part of the fun is uh, experimentation and sometimes you can get some cool results like i didn't i never would have thought to outline that but you know there he is cartoon version i i like him he's not cute but he's he's there so these guys are now all up on um facebook instagram and twitter the links are below and i just want to say how much I appreciate all the love and feedback that I got from the first video. It means a lot. Everybody's amazing. So take a look at those goblins at your leisure. I'd love to see you on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, or just one of them or none of them. But I think the most important thing of all is if you could support me by subscribing below and hitting that bell and, you know, throwing me a comment. I'm actually getting to the point where I need to start choosing what the next theme is after Dungeons & Dragons. So if you could supply me with some ideas, I already had a few on the first video, that would be amazing. Uh, I will do my best to look at all of them and respond to what I can, so do it up. If you decide to draw the goblin, send me a link. I'd like to see it. Until then, your support is awesome, and I appreciate the love, and I will see you next week when we do my favorite monster with the stupidest name. The Boulet. The Boulette? It's spelled Boulette, but it's pronounced Boulet. We'll see. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Landshark. Woo! Next week. See ya!